I'm building a contact database in Access 2007. As you can see in my contacts table, I already have the names and email addresses of the contacts, but I want to obtain more information about each person. Luckily, I can use Access to create a form that I can send as an email message to each of my contacts by using Outlook 2007. I can set it so that when my contacts reply, Access automatically enters their contact information into my database. To get started, on the External Data tab, in the Collect Data group, I click Create Email. The first page of the Collect Data Through Email Messages wizard gives me an overview of the process. I'll click Next to continue. Now I can choose what kind of form I want to use. Not all of my recipients have Microsoft Office InfoPath installed on their computers, so I'll use an HTML form. That way, any email program that supports HTML will be able to send the form. Since this table already contains my contacts' names and email addresses, I'll choose to update existing information. Note that this option can only be used if the recipient's email addresses are already stored in the database. Now I can specify which data I want the recipients to send me. The list on the left shows me the fields in the contacts table for which I can collect data. I want to collect each recipient's job title, business phone number, and fax number. But first, I think I'll add the information that I do have so that my recipients can see what data is already stored. To start, I'll click First Name, and then click the arrow button to add it to the email message. Since I don't want the recipient to edit this field, I'll click Read Only. Then, I'll do the same for Last Name and Email Address. Now I'm ready to add the fields for the data I want my recipients to supply. I'll just double-click each field to add it to the message, job title, business phone, and fax number. I don't select the read-only checkbox for these fields because that would prevent recipients from entering their data. I want Outlook and Access to process the replies automatically and add the data to my contacts table, so that's the option I select. Because I don't want any recipients to try to enter any new contacts by using this message, I'll select the Only Allow Updates to Existing Data checkbox. I can also select which Outlook folder the replies will be stored in, and set other properties to control the automatic processing of replies. I'll just use the default settings. Now I need to specify which field in my table contains the email addresses of the recipients. It looks like Access has already figured out which field that is, so I don't have to make any changes. Next, I specify the subject line and introduction to the email message and how I want the email message to be addressed. The default settings are fine, so I'll just click Next. Access will display any last instructions about how to manage my replies and any warnings that might pertain to these email messages. I'll click Next to continue. Now I can tailor the list of recipients by selecting or clearing the checkbox next to each name. I've decided not to send the message to two of my recipients, so I'll clear those two checkboxes. Now, I click Send. Outlook creates and sends my message. Here's what one of my contacts, Amy, sees when she opens my message. If Amy scrolls down, she sees the Read Only fields. And then, Amy sees the three fields that I want her to fill out. The instructions indicate what kind of data can be entered. To fill out the form, Amy must first click Reply. and then fill in the requested information. When Amy's done, she clicks Send, and the data is on its way. Now, I'll open Access to see if any new data has arrived. I open the Contacts table, and I see that Amy has already responded. Outlook and Access added her data to my table. Access also lets me manage my replies. On the External Data tab, in the Collect Data group, I click Manage Replies. For each data collection message that I sent, I can change message options, resend, or delete the message. The bottom part of the form contains information about the message and what data was requested. In no time at all, I've collected all of the data that I need for my database.